windy week ahead, I think, for most parts of the country. We already have an area of low pressure in the frontal system. That one's moving away, but more fronts and areas of low pressure already rushing in from the west. Those show up quite vividly on the satellite picture. There are even some more out there on the Atlantic. They have our name on as well. So the whole lot moving quite quickly from west to east. And in between, you probably see we have a scattering of showers at the moment. Zooming in, there are the showers are coming into northwestern areas. Already that thick cloud beginning to get into the southwestern corner of uh, Ireland. So I think for the match this afternoon, there's just a slender chance of a shower, but really it should be ideal, I think, with uh, some nice sunshine and reasonably warm in that sunshine. But we do have a scattering of showers across the north of the country, even now, one or two lighter ones in the southwest. We still have some cloud hugging the eastern coast and still rather more in the way of outbreaks of rain into central and northern parts of Scotland with some snow over the hills. Now, a cloud will continue to bubble up during the rest of the day. We will find some showers breaking out for a while. I think they're going to be heaviest and most frequent in the western half of the country and uh, probably dying down again later on as that cloud thickens from the southwest. And it isn't going to be long into the afternoon or into the uh, sort of early part of the evening before it turns pretty wet over Ireland and into that southwestern corner of England and Wales as well. And those showers dying out and some brighter weather creeping into central and northern Scotland. Temperatures about normal in most parts, but feeling rather cold, I think, in the northeast of Scotland, where the wind's going to be quite strong and coming in from the southeast. And then during this evening and tonight, that band of cloud and rain will work its way across most other parts of the country. Some of the rain fairly heavy, and for a time there's going to be quite a bit of snow over those Scottish mountains. Just a hint of somewhat clear weather getting into Ireland and the far southwest towards the end of the night. Temperatures in most parts holding up well above freezing, just a touch of frost to begin with, though, across central and northern Scotland. Tomorrow we're going to have quite a deep area of low pressure close to Northern Ireland. Still that front pushing on out of the way, taking its uh, cloud and rain with it. And eventually during the day we'll find as the rain moves on, it'll be replaced by brighter weather but with blustery showers. And there'll be gales, even severe gales, in that northwestern corner. The rain taking a fair time to get to the northeastern parts of Scotland. On Tuesday one low, low moves out of the way as another rushes in from the southwest. It is going to be a a bright and breezy day with sunshine and showers, perhaps some frost and sheltered spots to begin with. But then towards the end of the day, more wind and rain rushing up from the southwest. And there's the chart for Wednesday, more fronts across most parts, the middle parts certainly. So a pretty wet period of weather during the course of Wednesday. But that rain's going to take a long time to get to the northeastern corner there of Scotland. And some of that rain could be quite heavy. By Thursday, the front just across the northeast of Scotland, giving them some wet and windy weather. But by that time, the rain moving on out of the way to be replaced by showers. And it looks like a